Welcome to another training session on this channel. In today's session we will learn, how does, the soft starters, and VFDs works. And what is the difference between soft starter, and a VFD working. Before starting, I would strongly recommend you guys to please, subscribe this channel to stay connected for more upcoming video tutorials. Let's first see, how does, a soft starter works. Soft starters are mostly used, to reduce the starting torque currents of the motors, where motor starts under the heavy loads, and draws more current. Earlier the starting torque current was reduced, by using star delta starters, now we can use the soft starters to reduce the starting current of the motors. If we start a motor with the soft starter, it applies gradually voltage from 0 to 380 volts, as the applied voltage slowly rises, the current drawn by the motor rises slowly also, and reaches maximum load current. Because the current is slowly rising, the motor RPM slowly, and gradually rises from the zero revolutions per minute, to the rated RPM of the motor. We can set the acceleration time of the motor, by adjusting acceleration time, parameter. For example, if we set the acceleration time to 5 seconds, then the soft starter will apply 0 to 380 volts in, 5 seconds, and motor will reach the rated RPM in 5 seconds. Similar way, if we stop the motor, the soft starter will not suddenly cuts the voltage supply to the motor. Rather it gradually reduce the voltage to zero, we can adjust the stop time, by adjusting the deacceleration time parameter. In this way motor will stop slowly, and smoothly this reduces the failure, and breakdown of the gearboxes, and transmission belts attached to the motor. Although the soft starters are great to handle, and control the starting torque currents of the motors, but it has some shortcoming. For example with soft starters, we cannot control the RPM of the motor, we cannot increase or decrease the RPM of the motors. Next more important thing is that, with soft starters we cannot change the direction of the motor shaft revolution. To fix all these problems, we need a VFD. A VFD basically not only controls the voltage, and current, but also it can control the frequency, of the output voltage being applied to the motor. We can set the output frequency of the VFD, from the parameters inside the VFD control panel, or from the potentiometer on it. In this example, we have set the output frequency of the VFD to 20 Hz, by using this potentiometer knob. VFD can also change the direction of the motor shaft revolution, by changing the output phase sequence from inside. Here we have connected, a three-step selector switch, with the VFD. If we turn the selector switch to the right side, VFD will get a start command to start the motor in the forward direction, and if we turn the selector switch in the left side, the VFD will get a command to start the motor in the reverse direction. Now if we turn the selector switch to the right side, the VFD start to apply the voltage to the motor gradually from zero to maximum voltage same as the soft starter does and motor shaft starts to spin slowly in the clockwise direction. The starting time of the motor can be set using acceleration time parameter. If you notice the output frequency is 20 Hz, this means that VFD is applying the output voltage to the motor with 20 Hz frequency. This means that if the motor rated RPM is 1400, with 20 Hz output frequency now this motor is running at 560 RPM. Now if we set the selector switch in the middle, the VFD, gradually reduces the output voltage and frequency, and motor stops slowly, and reaches 0 RPM. Stop time of the motor we can set in the deacceleration time in the VFD. Now if we turn the selector switch to the left side. The VFD starts the motor, if you notice now the minus sign is displayed near the output frequency, this indicates that, this time the motor is running in the anti-clockwise direction at 20 Hz. If we turn the selector switch to the middle position, now the VFD stops again and slowly ramps down the motor. One thing we have discussed earlier that VFD can change and control the RPM of the motor by changing the output frequency. If we start the VFD, it runs the motor and slowly output frequency reaches 20 Hz. As we change set point frequency of the VFD by turning the knob, the output frequency starts to increase. If we keep on increasing the set point frequency, the output frequency finally reaches maximum output frequency 50 Hz. And now motor is running at 1400 rated RPM. We can increase the, the output frequency, more than 50 Hz if we want. 
To do this we have to increase the maximum frequency limit from the VFD parameters. Same way we can reduce the RPM of the motor by reducing the set point frequency of the VFD. Now let's see, what is inside a soft starter, and how does it works? The soft starter mainly consists of the three triac modules, since we have three phase voltage supply, so each of these three triac modules, is regulating the voltage for each phases. When we turn on the soft starter, the three phase voltage arrives at the input terminal of the triac. As we give a run command to the soft starter, the soft starter gives a signal at the gate terminal of the triac, and the triac starts to conduct the current through it, and current flows to the output terminal of the triac, and eventually reaches the motor winding, and motor shaft starts to rotate. Triac modules are used in the fan dimmer in your house. Fan dimmer is used to control the speed of the fan, so one can say that the soft starter is a three-phase voltage dimmer circuit. Triac consists of the two SCRs connected in, anti-parallel configuration with common gate. Soft starter control, or regulate the output voltage, by controlling the firing angle of the gate pulse for the triac. Triac firing angle limits flow of current from input supply, to load by changing the average AC voltage, being applied across the motor winding. By controlling this triac gate firing angle, we can apply AC voltage from 0 to 380 volts in a preset acceleration time. As output voltage are slowly increasing from 0 to 380 volts, the motor shaft slowly starts to spin and gradually reaches the motor rated RPM. This will decrease the starting torque currents in the motors. Now let's see how does VFD is doing this? What inside the VFD? Three-phase AC voltage is supplied to VFD input terminals via breaker. AC voltage goes to three-phase diode bridge rectifier, which converts AC voltage, to DC voltage. The DC voltage has some ripples in it, this voltage needs some filtration. In next step DC voltage goes to the capacitor bank. This capacitor bank filters the DC voltage, and output a smooth DC voltage without ripples in it. This DC voltage is then fed into three IGBT modules. These IGBT converts DC voltage to three-phase AC voltage. When we turn on the VFD, the VFD sends pulses on the gates of the IGBT modules. The frequency of these pulses starts from 0 Hz and slowly goes up and reaches the preset maximum output frequency. IGBT modules outputs the three-phase output voltage at same frequency as the frequency of the gate pulses of the IGBT. As now the output frequency is slowly going up, the motor shaft slowly increases its RPM, and gradually reaches maximum RPM. This way motor starting torque current is controlled, and this will increase the lifespan of the mechanical load, connected to the motor shaft. Inverter can also output adjustable voltage and frequency for the motor, depending upon how much motor speed and torque is required, we can adjust parameters of the VFD, as per our machine application. That's the end of the today's video, please do consider subscribe to my channel until video take care and goodbye.